New Zealand and Maori. The Maori are the indigenous people of New Zealand, the country they call Aotearoa. Their ancestors arrived in New Zealand on canoes from Pacific Islands about uh, 1200 after death of Christ. Today they comprise about 15% of the country's population. Te Reo Maori is their native language and one of the official languages in New Zealand. Kia ora. Hello. I am I welcome. What do you know about Maori identity and culture? Have you heard or seen the Hakka? The Maori settled on the coast and lived in small tribal groups. They lived off the sea and the land and developed a unique culture with their own language, a rich mythology and distinctive crafts. Maori was a warrior culture and tribal wars were common. The first European arrived in New Zealand in the early 1800s, bringing changes to the Maori way of life. However, initial relations were friendly. In 1840, the Treaty of Waitangi was signed by representatives of Britain's Queen Victoria and various Maori chiefs. In this way, New Zealand became part of the British Empire. The treaty established British law and government. However, it could not prevent warfare eh, as the Maori defended their lands and local authority. After the wars, the Maori lost land through confiscation and sale, mostly for, to British settlers. To many Maori people today, the most significant issue in New Zealand remains that of land. Still, the Maori are probably the, the indigenous people who have survived the European settlement best, the Hakka. Before the coming of the Pakea, white men to New Zealand, all literature in Maori was passed on orally to succeeding generations. This included many legends and songs. The most recognized tradition today is the Hakka, which is a war dance. Hakas are chanted Maori poems accompanied by expressive movements and are used to gre for greetings and to challenge and intimidate enemies before battle. The Haka Kamate has been immortalized by New Zealand's rugby team, the All Blacks, who have performed this dance before every game since 1905. Today the Haka is an object of pride in New Zealand, shared well beyond the Maori community. Tamoku. Many Maori cultural practices are kept alive in contemporary New Zealand. You might be familiar with the Hongi. Uh, for example, a greeting where noses are pressed together. You might also have noticed their use of tattoos or tamoku to decorate their bodies. Tamoku is a core component of Maori culture and an outward expression of commitment and respect. It is customary for men to wear moko on their faces, buttocks, thighs and arms, whereas women usually wear moko on the chin and lips. Today Maori culture has had a strong revival in the last century and their traditions have become a more integrated part of New Zealand society. The Maori language has been one of the official languages of New Zealand since 1985 and you might be surprised to see that many places have Maori names. The Maori have played a role in the governing of New Zealand since the mid 19th century when Maori members first entered parliament. Seven seats out of a total of 120 are reserved for Maori in the New Zealand parliament. In the 2000 and six census, there were an estimated 620,000 Maori in New Zealand, making up roughly 15% of the national population. Today, Maoris are active in all spheres of New Zealand society, though, as with the Native Americans and Australian Aborigines, a significant proportion of the population have economic and social problems.
The text is borrowed from Mandela. Thank you for watching.